Hello viewers, you're welcome to this video. I'll be talking about category custom fields today. What is category custom fields? Imagine a new user wants to submit a new ad. So the user clicks on submit ad. The user needs to post a new ad under automotive and cars and which we have here. What if the user decides to provide more details about the car? For example, if it's a Toyota Corolla brand or a Mercedes brand, we don't have anything here to specify. So that is where custom fields comes in. So I'll be showing you how to create a custom field under automotive. And here are the details can need. You need to know the make of the car. For example, Toyota and the rest. You need the model, year of manufacture, color, condition, transmission, and the rest. So we're going to start from this one, which is the make. To implement the custom field, you need to go to our back end. This is my dashboard. I need to go to appearance, then go to custom fields or categories custom fields. And uh, here is my category. So when I come to this place, I need to choose, uh, I need to click on cars and not automotive. I need to make this um, explanation so you understand. The category is automotive, and here is the subcategory. Then, under this subcategory, I want to add custom fields. So, is the custom field I'm adding is going to be under cars and not under automotive. So, this is what I do I click on my categories and go to cars. Then when I come down here, it says add custom fields to cars. So this is what I'm going to do. I click on add new custom field. Then here is the first field. You can add as many fields as you can. You can see I have one and two. And another one, I have three. So let's start from the first one. The first thing I have here is a make. So I copy that. And I paste here. Now these are not the whole cars in the world, but I just keep this few. Now I'm expected to paste this because the user is expected to click on the drop down and select the make. So this is what I do. I check on drop down. Then I'm gonna paste everything here. It says add options with commas, separated examples, e.g. one, two, three. Anything you put here, you must separate each item with a comma. And already I have commas separating my cards. So I'm good to go. So when I come here, I paste the name and you can see I have commas everywhere. Now that is for the first one. Now I'm going to delete this too. I just added because I want us to see how this one turns out to be. Now if I were to choose text field, it means when I come back to this page or when the user comes to this page, the user is going to input the text. If I click on checkbox, the user is going to click on a particular checkbox. And if I choose drop down, the user is going to drop down and choose one from the list. Okay, now for to make this very easy to understand, I start from the first one, which is text field. So I'm going to say save changes. So it's set now. I go back to user. 
then I click on automotive or you can as well refresh the page and I click on cars and when I come down here where are you okay here is the make you can see have make here and because I chose them um, um, text field I'm going the user is going to insert a text field like uh, Volvo you can type in text field so if that's what you want the user to do then you can choose a text field under make so the user will supply the required text now for the check box um, which is the second one this is what you have at the end of the day you have to need to select one from the radio button so this is going to be the outcome or the final result when you use checkbox you drop down let's use color for example these are the colors i have available so here i'm going to choose color and choose a drop down and paste all the colors i have so when i update this is what I get at the end of the day when I click on cars. Okay, so here condition new is it foreign choose whatever then color you have to choose the color from here then make under this make you expected to type your text. I can also make it a drop down by color, but what it means is that you have to provide all the necessary options before you can do that. So let's go back to make and adjust this make from text to drop down. So I go back to cars and make I switch to drop down. So let me go back and get all the things under my make. So I paste here and say save. And say save changes. And when I go back here, reload or choose a different option so that this page is gonna operate. So here I have make, and I can have every make you want to have. Yeah, then condition new or old and I just have to add extra field for any particular category or sub category. I hope I've been able to explain this to your own understanding. I want you to implement this on your classified app today because it makes posting ad very very easy for users and also it increases your credibility because as a user gets your site, user gets to see everything that is needed and required. Thank you for watching this video and have a very nice day.